All right, guys, welcome back to 21090 Brewing. Today we have something very special for you. Uh, I'm Andy, this is Todd, and who are you? You might be missing Eric today. Eric is on vacation. My brother Tony is here to talk about a very special beer that he found that we cannot find here in America. This is from Meisel and Friends, and I will let uh, my brother kind of tee this one up. Definitely, yes. So I was lucky enough to uh, get to go to Germany earlier this summer in July. And uh, so I was in Frankfurt, uh, Hamburg, I was in Dresden, and Nuremberg. Had beer everywhere. The beer was amazing. I had mostly all the draft pilsners, which all of them were awesome. But I was lucky enough at the Hilton uh, downtown Frankfurt. They had a sign that said craft beer in Germany, so I wanted to check it out. So this is what I found with my own friends. They actually had three of them. They had two IPAs. And this beer right here, the Meisel Pale Ale. And um, I had all three of them. This ended up being my favorite. It was an amazing beer, um, and I knew that there was no way I would get any when I came back home. So um, the bartender was kind enough to give me a couple, <laughs> put them in my suitcase, and... Uh, Snuck this through customs? Yeah. Yeah, oh, we I, actually didn't sneak this in. It came in legally. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is history. So the cool thing is, Tony's tried this, we haven't, we're going to crack this one open tonight, we're going to taste it, and then uh, Mize and Friends has a lot of the information for their grain and hop bill online, so Tony and I are going to get together tomorrow morning, and we're going to actually try and clone this thing. So you're going to see the review first, then tomorrow we're going to clone it, and then Todd, when we had the big Oktoberfest yep. party, we're going to unveil this along with the three beers... Um, so four total. Yeah, four total. So the Ooh. three beers, which is good. You know that we like doing IPAs, and right now, and you and E have a Mars, and I've got a uh, pumpkin yeah. brown ale. So we we need some kind of IPA pale ale in our life. So we're gonna we're gonna review this for you guys and um, let you know what we think, and then we're gonna try and brew it tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Let's All right, get cool. it. Let's do it. All right. All right, so we've got the beer poured, laid out, ready to roll. We're going to take it off the, uh, the ricker again. You guys have seen this now in multiple videos. Very from, famous. This is becoming infamous from Dempsey's Brew Pub. If you can't hear it, you guys got to get out there and check it out. So, guys, first impression. Todd, color, what are you thinking here? Uh, a hazy gold. That's not hazy. It's very clear, but it's sort of like a straw gold, very light. Um, pale ale. It's kind of how you expect uh, European... Pale ale, I would assume. What do you think? Yeah. I'm colorblind, Andy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like a golden. Real nice. And you're going to yeah. rely on you for the taste. <laughs> Let's get a nose on it. Okay, so what hops are they using again, Tony? Do you remember? Uh, Hercules, which I've never heard before. Uh, Simcoe. Yeah. What was the other? It's uh, uh, Chinook, Shrew. Amarillo, and uh, Citra. Yeah. So. You know, a bunch of American hops with that Hercules, that German Hercules. And their website says they're going after an American mm -hmm. IPA kind of uh, style because they use American yeah. uh, IPA yeast. It's a but, very uh, melony. It's got the German malt. Yeah. I don't smell any of the, of the Simcoe or Citra or even Amarillo. To me, this, it's very, like, you, uh, you say like a whiny, almost like Remember a... Remember that, uh, the, the Hallertau Blanc that I used yeah. for the... Um, the white wine IPA, <clears throat> we can link oh you up God. to that one here too, so you can take a look at that. It's like grape, but yeah, it's got kind of that almost um, that Sauvignon Blanc type yeah. kind of smell to it, which is which is kind of cool. I mean, I like that. All right, All right let's drink this up. Cheers, boys. Cheers, guys. Ooh, that's nice. Very clean. Yeah, uh, there is a. There's a little bit of a bitter finish on it, but as, as you swat on your tongue. But it's definitely not over the top. I no, mean, this is this is only 32 IBUs. Yeah, 32 IBUs. So this again, not a hop bomb, but it's got enough that you can taste that kind of citrus, those citrus notes on there. Yeah, which so is 5.2%. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is a heat. How many did you drink in Germany, Tony? Probably too many. <laughs> <laughs> only, that's why you only got wow. two. Yeah. This, this is think? great. It's an awesome great. Just as I remember yeah, it. I can tell why you like it. Yeah, this is this is very good beer. Um, kind of a shame this isn't uh, available in the states. I've seen a couple yeah. reviews on YouTube. Only one in English. Everything else is in German. <laughs> and I think that one was some guy across the pond in England. So this, it, so for your first American review that I found, Meisel and friends, 
Well done. Well this, done. Is, this is this is excellent. So you guys are up to the challenge then for tomorrow and try to replicate this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Six thirty AM. We're Ooh. gonna get we're gonna get rolling on this puppy. Yeah, so again for this one, I don't think it you know, when you think of Citra, Amarillo, Simcoe, um, Chinook, I don't I don't taste a lot of those flavors. I think the dominant hop here must be the Hercules, which is uh, I've never had, but it works. It's very smooth. It's balanced real well. I don't taste a lot of citrusy, piney notes. Um, more it's of that melony yeah. sort of grape. But there is a bit of a, a finish on your tongue, I think, that is a bit of a bittering. It's not a lot, but there is, it is there. And that's good. It's, it's a pale ale. That's how I think a pale ale mm -hmm. should be. It's, it's really good. You can tell a lot of the hops are on the back end. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them are probably real late edition hops on this, um, which is why it's so smooth and you're getting that kind of that, that a little bit of that citrus flavor at the yeah. end, but that that Hercules hops is probably the the game changer there. No that, doubt. That, that that spicy note that you're getting a little bit of that almost Alcar Blanc kind of Definitely. taste to it, which is good. But this is awesome. I'm glad you brought this back. Yeah, Tony, thank you, you too. I wish I could have brought back more. We might have to. We might <laughs> well, you can brew more. That's true. We might have to kick you out. No, we no, won't I'm do you. In fact, happy birthday. Happy, happy that's right. Today's E's birthday. birthday. So we're, we're we're reviewing for you, man. Everybody, comment happy below. Happy birthday to E. Happy birthday to E. And uh, all right, so let's get on. So tomorrow we'll, we'll do. Uh, we'll see if we can do this justice. But Meisel and friends, good job. You got a couple friends in uh, America in two ten ninety. So. That's right. Cheers. All right. Good job, boys. <laughs>
This is Doug's phone. <laughs> it's raining. In Lithicum. <laughs> I tell you, he's so good on camera, isn't he? He's so good. Of course I am. <laughs> That's going right in. And he did a couple of bloopers. Jesus, we don't have to do that again. That's perfect.